Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Last week, we found this Pokemon Let's Go cartridge in a yard sale. We booted it up, but it wouldn't play, and now it is. But Eevee's looking all weird. <laughs> nah, it's just Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, everyone. Uh, last time we left off right here in Lavender Town, and we were about to go inside the Pokemon Tower to see what Trace was up to. So how about we do just that? The Pokemon Tower is a place where Pokemon are laid to rest. Did you come to, to pay respects? Bless your Pokemon loving heart, son. Well, luckily, our Pokemon haven't perished quite yet. I can't forget my dearly departed fairy. Oh, this won't do. I'm a wash in tears. Naturally, there's a lot of mourning people in here. We don't see any sign of trace right here. Have you seen him? The Pokemon Tower was erected in the memory of the Pokemon that passed away. I am a channeler, one who speaks to spirits. I sense his lost spirit somewhere high in this tower. I doubt it's Trace. There he is. What do you have to say about him? You there! If you wish to know the truth behind the wandering spirit haunting this tower, well, even we challengers couldn't identify them. But maybe with the right tool. Yes, perhaps a silk scope might let one see the truth behind his mystery. All right, so it seems like there might be something we haven't found out yet, or, well, something we need to progress further. But Trace is right there, so let's check in with him. Hey, if it isn't friendly, what are you doing here? No way, friendly. Your Pokemon didn't die or anything, right? No, it's fine. Oh boy, glad I was wrong this time. But uh, maybe I should check that your Pokemon really are doing well with a battle. All right, it's battle time. Let's go, Trace. A little bit of a weird spot to do some battle, but uh, trainer never says no. Pidgeotto is your choice of Pokemon to go in first, and we have Kangaskhan on our side. Yes, the big mama Pokemon we caught last time around. It's uh, a little low in level, but we're gonna do our best. Fake Out is gonna help out. There we go, that's already a considerable amount of damage, seeing how we're eight levels lower. I'm not sure how much Bite is gonna do, but we're gonna try. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not gonna go well. How about we switch over to the much more capable Graveler? Their rock type abilities will make short work of this Pidgeotto, after all. Wing attack won't do much to us. A simple rock slide will take care of Pidgeotto. It'll outspeed us, that's okay. Bye. Easy peasy. And a critical hit, too. Great job, Graveler. Gravel Goods level 27. Getting a good amount of experience. Uh, stats, I mean. Genghis Gong gets level 20. Nice. Let's see. They'll send out Gloom. I've got the perfect thing for that. In the form of Charmeleon. Let's go, buddy. That Gloom doesn't stand a chance. Alright, a simple ember will take care of this. Maybe two. Or maybe three, oh boy. That gloom's got a lot more special defense than I thought. But it's nothing Charmeleon won't be able to handle. Especially after avoiding that sleep outer just now. It's a done deal. Goodbye, gloom. You shall be forgotten. Wants to learn to move double edge. Um, let's see. It'll hurt Eevee quite a bit if we use his move. But I think she can it could take it. Let's let's try it out. Quick attack is nice and all, but it's starting to lack a little bit in the power department. The double edge is gonna be like three times as strong. Which will be great. And we have a myriad of other moves we can use before we have to resort to last resort. Or double edge, might be. Looks like uh, Trace's Pikachu finally evolved into Raichu. I think it's time for our Dragon Rage, a move who will always do 30, 40 damage. 
Oh boy. That was a lot of damage. All right, I've got to switch out to uh, another Pokemon. Tremeleon is already lagging behind a little bit. So how about we go over to Graveler again? Righteous Electric type moves will not do anything against this fella. And I don't think they have a Steel type move quite yet, such as Iron Tail. I'm hoping they don't have double kick either. Well, we're gonna find out now. Uh, let's see, Rock Slide. There we go, yeah, quick attack. That's nothing. We can safely throw some rocks every now and again. Honestly, quite the tank Graveler turned out to be. I wasn't planning on using Graveler a whole bunch, but, you know, sometimes th things happen. <laughs> Maybe your Pokemon are doing a little too well. All right. Ah, oh, shoot. When we battle, we scare that Cubone. You know Cubone, right, friendly? It's a Pokemon that's always wearing a skull. That Cubone looks like it was searching for something. Maybe it's up on the higher floors. What does Eevee have to say about all this? <gasps> all right. Eevee looks proud and is giving a contented smile. Nice. He must be pretty happy about what we did. Well, why don't we go together, Trace? Cubone looks like we search for something. All right, well, let's go then. Got an item right here. X attack. All right, we'll take it. Oh, hello. I, I w want to get to the bottom of this. How did a coward like me end up in charge of the Pokemon Tower? Oh, a battle? Well, I'm kind of strong. Sure. Here g goes nothing. A battle with a coach trainer. We'll get some good stuff from her. All right, Holly. Let's see what you got. A Geodude. A singular Geodude. We have Kangaskhan here. Okay, how about this? We're gonna start off with Fake Out. It's a little bit of damage, but it's free damage because Geodude will flinch. That's not the way I wanted to go. Do we have a water type move on Gyarados? I think we got water, didn't we? No, not yet, it seems. How about a switch over to Ivysaur in that case? It's fine whip attack, we'll take quick care of Geodude. Ooh, that was a powerful rock slide attack. No where no matter. Bow whip it up! Oof. Ah, a flinch, really? Well, I better heal up real quick. Uh, Super Potion is gonna do it as long as I don't flinch after the next attack. I think we should be fine. All right, don't flinch, Ivysaur, and we got this. My God. All right. Let's try that again. We're gonna heal up. Get hit hurt once. Get hurt twice, and not flinch at the attack. Oh my gosh. I'm stubborn too. I could just, you know, take the hit, get hurt for an Ivysaur, and just go to like Eevee or something and do double kick. But no, I'm too stubborn. I want to finish it with Ivysaur. All right. Oh. Purple hit. Yeah, you deserve that. Let's do it once more. I'm too stubborn. I don't care that I use like four or five super potions. I'm gonna do it my way. One more vine whip. There we go. Right, man. He was set on using that rock slide attack. I mean, I don't blame her, it was her best move. Tremble, tremble. I tremble at your strength. I think I just scared to be here, lass. That battle took my mind off things a little bit. Here, I found these lying around. Hey, Eevee candies, nice! The candies that make Pokemon stronger. I have a bunch too. I keep them safe in my candy jar. How about we use a couple of those candy? Let's see, the candy jar. The Eevee candy. Increase all stats by one. That is extremely good. 
When given to a certain Pokemon, it will reach all of its stat at once. We would be silly to say no to that. Look at all that. Delicious stats. Yep, specialized candy for a single Pokemon will increase all the stats by one. So Eevee just got a massive power boost. Plus one to pretty much everything. <laughs> that is great. Nice. Alright. Well, let's continue upwards. Cubone! Cubone! Come out! Come out wherever you are! I don't see any sign of it. Huh? Is that? It's a... It's a... It's a... G -g 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 Ghost! Yeah! Get out! Be gone! Alright, looks like it's listening to the ghost. Cubone sadly trotched away down the stairs. <laughs> what does Eevee have to say about all this? Aww. <laughs> he looks frightened by the spooky atmosphere. <laughs> it is adorable. The ghosts are walking around here freely. We ha do have some trainers to fight here, though. Be gone, beloved spirit! Ah! No worries, we'll be gone as soon as we reach the top. We are challenged by a channeler of Patricia. And they send out Ghastly. Luckily, our Kangaskhan has the fight move, so we should be able to just fight against this thing. Chompy time! Ooh, wow. Toxic? Oh boy. Now that's possibly very dangerous. No camera. Sucker punch. Oh boy. These, uh. Ghastly are, are pretty dangerous. Luckily, we seem to be doing just fine against him. <coughs> Another Ghastly. We should be fine as long as we keep using Bite. The Toxic might hurt a little bit, but we can restore Kangaskhan outside of battle. Jumpy time! It's a little weird, the camera keeps getting stuck on us for a moment. Alright, we should be able to do one more, and we'll be fine. Down goes the second Ghastly, and we got the experience points. Phew, the spirit left. That's a good thing. Alright, we need to heal up that poison from Kangaskhan. Right away. Hmm. Let's see. Medicine pocket. Full heal. That should do the trick. Right. I'm not sure how well Kangaskhan is going to fare in the rest of this area. Being how she's a little under leveled. How about we put Charmeleon out in front? Her, its dragon rage will help tremendously. Do you have any regular healing? Let's see. Either no, we pretty much <laughs> wasted it all on that combat with the Geodude. But I think we should be fine. <laughs> what? What a strange thing to say to someone. I'd start off with a hello, but not Carly. Carly is uh, not bound by such limitations of fancies. All right, Tremillion, you're up. A simple Dragon Rage will do a trick. Or two. Yeah, it's gonna be two. Oh, or not more than this, just as one. Well, it was to be expected. Uh, Kangaskhan, let's see if we can finish things off then. Man, Tremillion is really getting the short end of the stick when it comes to getting taken down. I should probably give it like an extra level here or there. Alright. Luckily, we seem to outspeed the Ghastly. And take it down without a problem. Hmm, what am I doing? Well, you were attacking me and saying Qua a lot. 
Sorry, I was possessed. Hey, that's actually kind of nice of you to say. Alright, a super potion. Let's keep going. We got ghost on it. Ooh, an item. Kind of want that, though. Let's see. How about putting Gyarados up front? I might have to spend some time um, off-camera just grinding up Gyarados and Kangaskhan a little bit. Because it does seem like they're lagging behind, and I kind of do want to use Kangaskhan. Uh, uh, lots of things to say. I too am feeling graha. Alright, cha Channeler Hope. I keep thinking it says Challenger, but it is Channeler. Because they are channeling the spirits. Alright, Gyarados, you big on. Let's attack. Your bite will do the trick. Docker Punch. Ooh. Chompy. Delicious. Delicious gassy ghost for breakfast. Mm. I guess he's basically eating a fart. Which I'm not sure how I feel about. How do you feel about that? I heard that ghost can be identified with the silph scope. Hmm. We'll have to see about getting one. It is no big surprise that the ghosts which are here are actually ghastly and haunter in disguise. <laughs> but until we obtain the silph scope, we won't really be able to identify them or even catch them. Sadly. But it doesn't stop us from just walking around here. In the original red, blue, and yellow, and even fire, red, and leaf green. And the way the uh, random encounter will be handled is you'd find a ghost and it would just be like, Ooh, get out! And stuff like that. You, would, you wouldn't even be able to fight them or catch them. And here, I guess they'll do the same thing, but I can at least evade uh, the encounter because you're just floating around in the world here. It's also strange because the Ghastly and Haunter, which are being used by these channelers, are A-OK. -okay. Like, we know that they're Ghastlies and Haunters. Why doesn't that work on, like, the Wild Ones? Couldn't we solve it by context that it's them? That's just me thinking, though. There we go, a Haunter. First instant of finding one. Haunter! Maybe it's an unpopular opinion, but I think Haunter is cooler than Gengar. I might, uh, I might be booed for it, but Haunter is just a cool Pokemon. It's like semi-solid, it's still floating around a bit, got those two deathly looking claws. It's pretty epic. Gengar is cool in its own way, though. It, it definitely has its reasons to be as awesome as it is. But for me, I think it's Haunter. Haunter all the way, baby. Genghis Kong with level 21, and we defeated Jody. Woo, what? Watch who? Who who? Who me? Now let's evade some more of these ghosts. We got TM04 Teleport. Doesn't really do anything in battle, but at least we'll be able to teleport outside of places if we use it in the field. I think it brings you to the last visit of Pokemon Center. I see a bone and crying. Qua! What's with the qua all about? Is that the new latest rage I'm too old to understand? Laurel, is it? Well, they sent out a hunter, and they're not gonna answer me. I guess I really am too old to understand. All right, how about we qua some of our own and bite down? Toxic, oh boy! Qua! There go <laughs> that goes hunter. One hit wonder. What? No, qua. Luckily, we have. Some Shalur Sable left over, I believe. Oh, that's the wrong button. I, I will always keep messing that up. Don't worry, I will. Medicine. Full heal, full heal will work, yeah. There we go. Gyarados became healthy. Is there any item up here? It sure is, looking at Eevee Steel. Tail. Got him. Alright, there's another channel down here, isn't there? Yeah, there she is. Boo. Ghost! No! She says Qua too! What? What's up with Qua? I started to wonder if it really is something I'm too old to understand. Paula. A ghastly. Luckily, we have a massive chomping water dragon esque thing. Alright, Gyarados. Time to eat that fart. 
Chompy. Never Ghastly. Chompy. And that's two. Goodbye, Ghastly. We got our experience, and Paula is defeated. Where's the ghost? I just ate them. Both of them. Well, Gyarados ate them. Alright. How much further does the tower go? There's something good down there, though. Join us. Really? Are we having, like, a party or something? Because I'm, I'm down. I'm down for a little party. I don't think this haunter is here to party. Although, imagine a party with a bunch of haunter. That'd be quite the rave. Though I guess it wouldn't be a lively party. I'm sorry. What a nightmare. Yeah, thanks, lady. Alright, let's just grab the item. A nugget? That'll sell well. Anything over here, Eevee Tail? Nope. Uh, ooh, we just barely dodged him. Let's heal up. Here we go. You entered the purified and protected space, and your Pokemon were fully healed. That is great. That means Charmeleon is back up to Fighting Strength too. How about we give Charmeleon a little boost, shall we? Because I feel like he's been lagging around. Right, let's use a rare candy. There you go, level 28. Okay. Let's see. Mighty candy, smart candy. Mm. How about a little extra speed? Yeah. Two, three, four, and five. All right, that should be good. How about this mighty candy? Getting some extra attack stats. And two, and three. Now it's the same as its special attack. A little bit of extra HP can't hurt. Especially since it's been taking a lot of hits recently. Wow, the defense of uh, Charmeleon is abysmal. Only 40. Alright, how about we use that tough candy in that case? Every little bit helps. There we go. That should do it for a little bit. What do you have to say? Gum child, I have purified the space here. You can rest yourself a moment. As we did, yeah. Alright. Zombies? Where? I only saw go. I don't think I've, I've seen zombies down here, lady. Chandler Karina. Man, look at her face. She looks like a zombie here. Aren't I? All right, Chameleon. Let's get the training. I thought it knew bite as well. I suppose I'm mistaken. Dragon Rage. A two simple attacks should be enough. Luckily, wow, we, they expelled the poison. That's great. Good job, Charmeleon. Luckily, we can just walk back into the purified space to heal up Charmeleon. Ghastly. All right, we'll just keep battling. No reason to stop. I don't think Ghastly's going to be strong enough to take us down in the amount of health we have. All right, Dragon Rage. It's a shame that Dragon Rage was gotten, like, slightly after the moment that Pokemon stopped having 40 HP and less. But still, a two-hit KO is not a bad thing. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, there were no zombies, lady. Let's take care of the poison right here. This is a pretty good spot to train back in Fire Red and Leave Green. Because, well, you know, you could heal up constantly. And there were some pretty good fights down here. Evie, anything here? A big pearl. That'll be good for the selling. Hello, lady. Ooh. Man, we just barely sneak by those ghosts. Oh, God. Urgh. 
I think something's wrong with you. I think there's more wrong with her than just being possessed. I think she might throw four Pokemon. Oh boy. All right, Charmeleon. How about we rush through these encounters? Let's go, Dragon Rage. Bah. Bah. And done. Woo! <laughs> All right, man. Good thing we sped up through that one. Uh, hello, ghosts. Yeesh. Come to me, ghosties. Come to me. Oh, all right. Well, then. I guess I'm just that horrifying that they all escape at the same time. You! Fight me. Give. Me. Your. All. You know, that's a strangely, you know, supportive ghost. Give it your all. Another three Pokemon. Let's take care of these quick as well. And down she goes. As easy as the combat here is, it is a little repetitive. This is like, what, the sixth trainer which just has Ghastly's and Haunter? It's a bit of a shame because the area itself is pretty cool. Hello, lady. Alright, we, we've seen this one. Let's, let's blast through this. All right, phew, just blasted through those three battles. Their Pokemon were of a higher level, but we managed to get through just fine. I don't think there's much more combat to be had in this Pokemon Tower right now. Let's go find out. It's a big ghost. Be gone, intruders. Uh, Eevee looks a little scared. Eevee is trembling in fear. It won't let you take another step forward. That's right. In order to continue, we are going to need the Sil scope so we can deal with this strange-looking ghost. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing next time. All right. Next time, we'll just go look for that Sil scope and we'll pass the ghost. And we're getting haunted up the wazoo here. All right. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you again here next time for more Pokemon. Let's go, Eevee. But until then, bye-bye!